For years I've wanted to go bow hunt, oh dad, somewhere down south. It's been growing on my list of things to do for quite some time now. Little did I know I was about to get the shot that I'd waited a long time for. I shot the boat in the promised land Twenty-four hours, got a gun in my hand Sage brush prayer by as I can see God bless manifest destiny Before getting to Audad Camp, I had spent a couple of days hunting Axis with some really good friends of mine from Prime and G5. Even though most everyone in camp was successful, I ended up empty-handed, so it brought us to here, Audad Camp. Now I'll admit, I had kind of turned my nose up to hunting in Texas and all of the different animals on the landscape. If it weren't for my good friend Jeff Helm, this trip may have never happened. Jeff's been persistent in getting me to come join him, so I decided this was it. This was going to be my year to hunt Texas. I knew that no matter how the hunting was, being around Jeff for a few days was going to make my sides hurt. I could already tell this was going to be a fun few days. Gun and you're gonna die young. Ever on the run, never look back, son. You live by the gun and you're gonna, gonna die young. They're referred to as the poor man's sheep, and over the past several years, populations of Audad or Barbary sheep have started to explode. Well, we just rolled here into Audad camp. This place is absolutely gorgeous. It's a whole lot different country than we were just hunting in, so we're excited to get kind of up on top and dig in a little bit. But I'm gonna shoot a few shots, make sure the bow's still on, and then we're gonna get changed and get after it. Small hit of dopamine floods in my bloodstream. A notification calls me to act now. Constant distractions divert my attention to the fact that I'm no longer happy somehow. We decided to start the hunt in a blind setup that Jeff had put in a saddle the Audad loved to cross through, near one of Jeff's feeders. 
If that didn't work, we'd take to hunting spot and stock style, which from what I've learned is not easy on these rams. We're gonna stick it out here, and if this doesn't work, we'll probably go to plan B, which is getting up high where we can gain some elevation, use our glass, try to spot them, and then just go to stocking them in this brush here. It, it looks like it's real conducive to spot and stock, other than maybe noise. Um, so, we're excited though. I think we're gonna get it done. This is a beautiful spot here especially um, when you're trying to film, it's nice and open. It's kind of more of a mental grind to sit here in the heat and be patient than it is physically, but it does take it out on you. We're a little more prepared today. We got a better plan, so we'll see what happens here. Well, it's our last afternoon here in Texas. We're uh, in what Helm calls the Aw Dad's bedroom. Finally, kind of going to get aggressive here and hopefully stir something up. We've been kind of sitting back hoping something would come to us and now we're going to go to them since it's our last afternoon here. But beautiful country. We're kind of looking at a hillside that's five to six hundred yards across here, hoping that they'll feed out onto it. If they do, we got a good wind in our face here, and a better part of the afternoon. It's only like three o'clock, so the plan sounds good on paper now. We just need them to cooperate. Amen, brother. If so, we'll be cooking up celebratory steaks. We've been saving all week. It's been a tougher hunt than expected here in Texas, I will say that. But it's been fun. It's uh, different than I thought, for sure. Lots of laughs. Yeah, that's for sure. But fingers crossed, it all comes together here for Buzzer Beater Ram. It was starting to get dark on the second to last night when I spotted three rams feeding across the canyon from us. I knew if it was going to happen, I was going to have to be fast, yet deliberate to get to them in time. Even though I felt like we had made all the right moves, the rams were nowhere to be seen when I got into where I had last seen them. 
where the pavement ends. On X begins. Well, we just had a window of opportunity there. Thought it might come together. Spotted three. Uh, looked like pretty nice odd head rams. I haven't seen a ton of them, but the one looked like a shooter for sure. Made our play, kind of had to go across this canyon on them and got up there. Good wind and everything, but they weren't there, so we've kind of posted up on top here where we can overlook a couple different ways, seeing if maybe they show up. We've got about a half hour before dark, but that was exciting. Got the heart racing, and it, it was cool to see them. They have the big long shafts and, and big sweeping horns, and, and uh, fingers crossed we have the rest of The last morning of the hunt, I had a few hours that I could hunt before I'd have to head to the airport back to Montana. I figured it would be a long shot to put something together that quickly, but that's why I was here, so I wasn't about to give up. As daylight started to break, we could see a couple of rams silhouetted against the skyline, feeding in the direction of Jeff's blind setup. Going back there seemed like our best plan for the direction that they were feeding. Oh yeah, they're coming right freaking towards us, dude. The rams kind of disappeared for a while, and then they reappeared. And in that amount of time, they'd close the distance in half. As the rams kept coming, you could tell they were going to end up right in our lap. I kept thinking to myself, there's no way this is going to happen. But then I could tell it was going to. I was going to get my shot. I kept thinking to myself, there's no way this is going to happen. But then I could tell it was going to. I was going to get my shot. As soon as I let the arrow go, I knew I'd missed. Well, 
it's our last morning here in Texas. We had a few hours to be able to hunt here this morning and things couldn't have possibly worked out better. We got here this morning, spotted three rams on the horizon before the sun even came up and they absolutely read the script. Perfect wind. We watched as the sun came up. These rams fed down this edge just like we hoped they would. Came in 34 yards broadside, slightly quartered away, absolutely dream scenario. And I shot right over his back, which is something you dread as a hunter. Um, doesn't matter how long you've been doing it, it uh, continues to happen and it continues to be as humbling the first time as the last time. And, um, we've worked hard to get that opportunity. We've been hunting hard to get one shot this week in Texas and finally got it. Couldn't have teed it up more perfect and I missed. So it's, it's tough to say that. It's tough to know that we're walking off the mountain and gonna head home with uh, an opportunity like that kind of come and gone. But I mean, that's, that's hunting. And it's not the first time, and it's not the last time I'll miss. So it sucks, it's humbling, but it makes you just want to be that much better, practice that much more, and not let it happen the next time. So don't know what else to say other than that. But you know, I appreciate everybody's help and everybody's worked so hard to help me get that shot. That's that's part of the as a hunter it's it's already humbling enough to miss, but when you got a team of guys helping you, it hurts. It hurts worse when there's more people involved. So anyway, we've got like two more hours here to keep hunting. Maybe something will happen, but that that was it. That was the shot, so I don't know what else to say. Going home after missing a shot on an animal is a humbling experience, not something a hunter wants to experience. I can't thank Helm, B.A., Locker, Landon, Casey, and John for the invite down and all the good laughs. The more I hunt, the more I realize how much of hunting is about the good people you meet. I wish I wouldn't have waited this long to take Jeff up on his offer to come hunt Texas. I had an absolute blast being down here and hanging out with so many good dudes. And getting the chance to be around so many critters I had never spent any time around. I've already planned to come back down when the snow's flying up in Montana. I always feel like those bucket list type hunts will be a one and done kind of deal. And as far as I can tell, most of them become one more hunt that I want to do every year.